The Pan American Games serve as a huge opportunity for us to prepare as we lead into the 2015 World Championships that serve as an Olympic qualifier for Rio 2016. For us, the World Championships is the Olympic qualifier, so it's the next most important regatta of the quadrennial. Um, we'll be primed and ready to go going into that World Championship, so I think Pan Ams is going to be a really exciting event. Um, the caliber of racing will be really high. Just I think there's a lot of promise from the Canadian team going into that event. Uh, the Pan Am Games also embody all of the characteristics of amateur athletics, you know, hard work, teamwork, and strong leadership for both athletes and support staff. And, you know, at the training centre here in London, we're able to embody those characteristics and demonstrate them on the rowing course. Rowing is a sport which you do a lot of the racing in the summer months in Europe, and so it's a really special opportunity to come back here and sort of be able to show everybody back home what, what, we, what we do, which sometimes can seem a bit far off. You know, we go overseas several times a year and it's always nice to have a small Canadian contingent in the crowd and you get excited when you see them waving the flags or cheering for Canada but just to know that the Canadian support is going to be the majority in vast numbers in St. Catharines um, I think it'll just be an electrifying environment. To get to compete on a home course is just a, a really exciting opportunity and I mean if you grow up racing in Canada that's where you'll have your big high school competitions, you'll be, your big summer club competitions so I mean to be able to go back there and then race at this higher level is something that's really exciting for us. I mean, I grew up in Cambridge, so a lot of my childhood friends are from the area. Um, it'll be really special um, for them to see me race. Yeah, I mean, it's always great when you have friends and family around and being able to share those experiences with, because I mean, a lot of the time they're making sacrifices too, I mean, and, and they're not the ones who kind of get to see the, or get to be a part of that experience very often. So to be able to share that experience with them, knowing that they've been with you along the way is, is going to be fantastic. I can safely say that uh, I don't think I would be at the level that I am right now without constant pressure from my teammates to be better than what I am right now. As a member of the Lightweight 4 selection team, we are constantly having to strive for perfection and excellence every day. We rotate through different pair combinations like we did this morning. Uh, yeah, most days we'll have uh, our second workout will be in the gym, so either doing weights or uh, doing core. Yeah, our training program encompasses both cardiovascular work, strength training work, and core stability work. So we usually do three days, four days a week, and we're training six days a week. Well, more like seven days a week, I guess now. <laughs> Having the opportunity to represent both Canada and the town of St. Catharines is a tremendous opportunity, and I'm thrilled that Rowing Canada is providing me with the resources and tools to succeed at the Pan Am Games. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for both athletes and fans, and so don't miss this opportunity. Yeah,